panic sparked among the locals of the Maharashtra village in April 2014, when a lost and agitated leopard entered their small town and began attacking the residents. The forest department managed to chase the big confused cat as it darted into a home in the small town. The video shows the leopard breaking through the top of the house and climbing onto the roof. Once outside, the leopard must have realized what a terrible mistake it had made, and began lashing out at any nearby people, after which the leopard makes a daring escape to a men's washroom in a back alley. It is believed that the leopard was forced out of its usual territory due to an illegal deforestation operation that had been happening in the area, and in a moment of panic, the leopard ran into the village. Luckily, the forest department was able to subdue the leopard before it caused any major harm, and they were able to safely relocate it back into the forest. On April 13, 2009, a woman jumped a fence at the Berlin Zoo, entering the polar bear enclosure during their feeding time. Once inside, the woman did the worst thing possible and began thrashing about, drawing attention to herself, which of course the hungry bears came to investigate. Luckily, after multiple attempts, rescuers were able to pull the woman out of the water and to safety, and just in the nick of time too. Because just as they began to pull her to safety, the bears started clawing at her back. Even after severe questioning, the police still do not know why the woman felt the need to jump into the polar bear enclosure. However, they did issue her a citation for trespassing. At least she'll have a cool story about how she got those scars. In October of 2014, another person jumped the fence at a zoo and entered an animal enclosure. But unlike the woman previously mentioned, he had an excuse. He was drunk. The man, while in a drunken stupor, saw a tiger in its enclosure and decided he needed to get a closer look. And just like Ron Burgundy, he immediately regretted his decision. The man, so riddled with fear, curled up into a ball, while onlookers watched as the tiger slowly circled in on him. According to many bystanders, the tiger only became agitated when people began throwing stones at it. Once the tiger reached the young man, he pounced him. Unfortunately, this story does not have a happy ending. Before the rescue crew could reach the man, he was mauled to death. If staring face to face with a tiger doesn't phase you, then perhaps having a stare down with two lions will. Which is exactly what 22-year-old mentally unstable drug addict Chung Wo Chan did. While in a full business suit, the man hopped into the lion's den at a Taipei, Taiwan zoo, took off his jacket and started waving it about like a matador. Fortunately, unlike the previous story, the lions were unable to harm the man since the zoo's staff tranquilized them without causing any harm. Afterward, Wo Chan was able to be saved unharmed. And and placed into a court-mandated rehab. Today, Wo Chan is clean, completely off of his illegal mind-altering drugs, and given legal mind-altering drugs that help him get a handle on his mental disabilities. This goes to show, even when you are totally out of your mind, there's still hope. A Russian trainer and his trained circus brown bear are brought onto a live television show, where the host was supposed to interview the trainer about his day-to-day -day life as a bear trainer. But as fate would have, or as the bear wanted to have it, that was not the case. Because no matter how well you think you've trained a wild and deadly animal, it only takes a single innocent mistake to cause them to snap. After the bear and his trainer are brought onto the stage, the trainer begins to display how kind and lovable the bear really is. While the bear was hugging his owner, the TV host came up from behind and took a seat. When the bear turned back from the hug, it was so startled by the hostess that it attacked her. The attack lasted nearly a full minute, while the trainer and the show producer desperately tried to pull the bear off. The host somehow managed to survive, receiving only minor injuries. During a festival in Kerala, India, an elephant and a series of trained elephants lost his temper and started trampling his trainer. At first, everything seemed to be going fine, but as the parade went on later into the night, the elephants became less and less at ease. Eventually, the elephant couldn't take it anymore. The rampage started with the elephant knocking everyone off of its back and right in front of his feet, which is when he began to trample them. Luckily, most were able to get away without being crushed by 13,000 pounds of pure elephant rage. However, two Riders were not so fortunate, and had to undergo nearly two full minutes of bone-breaking torture before the elephant stopped. Of the two men trampled, one died instantly, and the other survived with severe injuries. It is not known for sure what exactly caused the elephant to snap, since it had performed in many shows before. Could it have been the large screaming crowd, or the group riding his back was a bit too kicky, or perhaps he just needed a long overdue vacation? 
During a routine stunt show, an Indian stunt artist in Daredevil is performing a routine stunt for an audience. The routine that was supposed to be performed is for the crazy stuntman to stick his hands and head into the mouth of an alligator. In this specific stunt, the man would swipe his hand through the open space of the alligator's jaws, and as he swipes his hand through, he will quickly tap on its lower jaw. The alligator would then close its mouth, making it appear as though the gator attempted to bite his hand, leaving the whole audience speechless as they marvel at his daring stunts. However, one of the performers, the alligator, decided to improvise. This time, when the stuntman passed his hand through the jaws, the gator slammed its powerful jaws down on his hands. And then to make matters worse, the gator started performing his own stunt. This one is gruesomely called the death roll. It is the act of thrashing and violently rolling about while holding onto your prey. In the end, the gator stole the show, as well as the stuntman's right arm. In April of 2008, while filming a promotional video at the Predators in Action facility, Hollywood stunt actor Stephen Miller was attacked and killed by a four-year-old grizzly bear named Rocky, who was best known for his appearance as Dewey the Killer Bear in the movie Semi-Pro. Stephen Miller was asked to participate in a film shoot for an advertisement, where he would wrestle Rocky the Bear. Although Stephen Miller had not been involved in training Rocky, Miller agreed to the request because he was an experienced trainer and had also previously worked with Rocky. This unfortunate incident was the second time Stephen Miller and Rocky had worked together. The first time being when Miller acted as a stunt double for Will Ferrell and wrestled with Rocky. During the shoot, Rocky was supposed to imitate attacking Miller. Turns out Rocky was more of a method actor, and after a few takes, the bear grabbed Stephen by the neck and pulled him under. One of the bear's bites punctured Stephen Miller's arteries. He bled out before the paramedics could arrive.